springboard. It will hold, I love this. It's gonna hold your fruits and vegetables. What you can't quite see here is it will fold up. It'll pop up or down. It has a cutting board and a colander built in. My guest, Carrie Mileto, is here to show us. You know, at Kitchen mm -hmm. HQ, it's exclusive here. You can't find it anyplace else. That's right. But this is such an innovative solution, red or gray, by the way. The first time I saw this, I was like, wait a second, because yeah. here's the thing. Cutting board surface, professional cutting board, which you'll love using, but when you set it down on its anti-slip feet and you press on each side, it actually starts to expand. And if you've seen like a lot of collapsible things mm -hmm. in the home and things like that, why not bring it to our kitchen? Mm -hmm. So if you've been washing your vegetables and leaving them either in your sink, not hygienic by the way, right. oh, or if you've been having a separate basin to do this with, you now can do this in the same exact vessel that you're going to cut those vegetables in because there's the strainer right down here that when you press your finger, it releases all the water so that that same vessel, again, that you've washed your vegetables in, you can now use to chop them. So get rid of the big bloppy board. Get rid of this. Those always take get up so much space the other in the cupboard. Yes. That's exactly right. And when we press this all the way down and pressing it down is as simple as just pushing down on each side, this only takes one inch of space to store. And for size, it's 12 by 16. So it's very compact, it's very practically sized, and it gives you just that right amount of cutting space to get your salads, your fruits, your vegetables. And it's less and expensive, time. it's funny, because it's 1995, it's less expensive than a cutting board. Yep. It's less expensive than a colander. Yep. It's less expensive than a bowl. But it does it all. <laughs> but it does it all. Imagine if every one of your bowls folded flat. How cool would that be? Imagine if oh your gosh. colanders all folded flat as flat as a cutting board. This is everything all in one. You gotta get this one home, $6.65, and we'll ship it to you on our dime. You just choose the red or the gray. It's a really pretty, like you could even serve in that. It's Absolutely. just a really cool looking container. I love bringing mine to the market. I love bringing mine to the store with me because oh. if you're going to a farmer's market right now, there's tons of farmer's markets. Sure. Put this in your cart and load up your vegetables into that. I don't like using plastic bags when I don't have to. Yeah. So this gets up to seven quarts or 28 cups at full uh, open. So wow. you can even do it halfway up if you'd like. That's how we did our berries over here. So it suits to whatever size you need. And if you're putting this in your refrigerator, so if you want to store your ears of corn for mm -hmm. the barbecue later, this is actually 16 ears of corn that we've placed inside this one. Whoa. So this can slide right into your refrigerator and be prepared and ready to go. And you just grab it and take it out to the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Over here, I just wanted to show you kind of um, being used to strain. It's super, super simple because it has, again, that strainer built in right at the bottom. I could take my, say I just took my cucumbers right out from the refrigerator. I'm gonna go ahead and bathe them so I could put as much or as little water as I wanted. If I wanted to take each one and wash it, maybe I have a cleaner that okay. I use for my mm -hmm. vegetables. Maybe I just wanna do some simple water and let them sit. I can do that. And then when I am done, remember, there is a built-in strainer at the bottom, so I'm gonna reveal it there. All you have to do is press that strainer and I'm just gonna pull it back so you can see. That's the opening that goes all the way around that is taking the water out automatically. At the end, when I kind of get to my end, I kind of just like to shake it a little bit and get that little last remainder out. Then you literally take this, push it down, collapse it, and cut your vegetables, and cut your vegetables. right then and oh, there. Oh my goodness. And to kind of, because you couldn't see how much water was coming out and how fast that was happening. Um, here's my little rubber ducky. <laughs> this kind of, you're not gonna use this for rubber duckies, needless to say, maybe, maybe. I don't know, you could. But this is kind of just, we're gonna make their pond disappear. So when I press right here and I release this again to let it strain, look what's happening Whoa. at the bottom and how fast this is actually releasing that water. So you're getting that really great bath for all of your vegetables mm -hmm. that you should absolutely be doing. I know that when I don't let them sit in a basin, I don't yeah. always seem to get them as clean as I possibly can. And with pesticides and all those crazy things out there, we absolutely should be washing all our to. vegetables very well. Now we think about washing vegetables, but can you use this with hot things too? Like could you pour pasta? in this or, well, this or not? Well, this is a silicone. I, I don't oh. know if I'd use it for a pasta per se. You okay. could. Um, again, because it strains so well at the bottom, it's entirely up to you. Okay. I've even used it at the beach. I've used it to eat citrus. Let's talk about citrus for a minute mm. back over here. You know, when you have citrus at this time of year, super juicy, right? So my husband and I actually turned ours into a bowl and ate our citrus over top of the bowl. That's good. Or watermelon, I'm thinking, right? Let the like rinds, <laughs> oh, it's perfect for watermelon. Let the rinds just live inside the a bowl, right? So then all the mess went in here, That's threw out great. the rinds, rinsed this out, and we were good to go. But even oh if goodness. you're just cutting citrus, I love this because citrus, again, you know, it gets very juicy. So if I'm just cutting into this, a lot of
of juice can yeah. go everywhere. Notice that this silicone that goes around the edge also works as a catch-all for a lot of your juices. Yeah. Um, watermelon, prime oh example. Goodness. I mean, that was that's awesome. My son just cut his first watermelon, um, and it, he was like, he was on our. We have a butcher block countertop, uh -huh. and he was using the he was using the the cutting board, and I was like, it's literally like it was a whole hassle to have to clean off that countertop after he was done, and he yeah. used a cutting board, but it was everywhere. This would have been a brilliant solution, and it's right? so big that would have easily held that whole watermelon. Exactly. And so you know, if you're building a salad, if you're doing, oh. um, you know, again, preparing the corn and the cob, if you have your berries, fresh berry picking, this is a great way just to hold them right in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. honestly. But again, remember, it's all in one. So you don't have your colander, you don't have your base, and you don't have your cutting boards that you're having to worry about. This goes straight down to a professional level mm. cutting board. You do not want to cut over your strainer, obviously. Keep right. that in mind. So that area you kind of want to stay away from. But when you open this, you can do what I call half mast, <laughs> which is kind okay. of like halfway through. It can make it. But all the way up is a seven quart or 28 cup capacity. Oh, wow. And you know what? I just think that the idea of saving all of your, your, your cabinet space is really incredible because you don't, you can't fold down your colanders, right? Mm -hmm. You can't fold down any of your big giant bowls. If you had a bowl like this, I mean, it takes up all that space, yeah. right? You're thinking, I got to stack something else into it. This will fold flat, as flat as your cutting board. It's your cutting board, your colander, your big basin, and your smaller, your smaller container as well fit right in the fridge. Now, how do we wash it when it's time to wash it? So simple. I, I just rinse mine off. I I go under the water with a little soapy water. I wipe it down like this and I store it. That's really it. I mean, so it's completely easy to use, completely easy to clean, and super simple to take everywhere with you. It's I love brilliant. it. It's you choose the red or the gray, and you can break it up into interest-free payments of six dollars and sixty-five cents. We're gonna ship it to you. I think that would make a great wedding gift as well. Oh, yeah, uh, great idea. You know, anybody starting out, or just for you, throw your other colander away. All right, we've got so much <laughs> coming up for you in our kitchen hour. Thank you, Carrie. I know you're sticking.